Hello everyone, in this tutorial we are going to see entities in Dynamics 365 customer engagement. Entities are renamed as tables now. Let's see what is an entity or a table. An entity is a distinct data set or a group of records. Let's consider if a user is using the customer engagement application, if he want to enter some business data, then he will try to create the records. Likewise, the records will be created in the entity. What are the types of entities in customer engagement? We have system entities. Whenever we install the customer engagement application or whenever we create the customer engagement instance, then some entities will be created like workflows, asynchronous jobs and all. Not only this, but also entities available in the sales module and service module, those can be considered as system entities. System entities cannot be deleted, but it can be modified. When it comes to business entities, business entities are like the entities available in the sales model, lead, opportunity, account, contact, quotation, order, invoice. When it comes to service model, cases, queues, entitlements, SLAs, all those can be considered as business entities. Business entities also cannot be deleted, but it can be modified. When it comes to custom entities, Let's say for example if we have the requirement like if we want to create some entities in CRM like college entity, student entity, doctor, library, all those entities can be created as custom entities in customer engagement. Let's say for example if we created a custom entity, some components will be created. I will talk about those components in the demo. Okay, let's see the demo. Now we are in make.powerups.com and let me click on solutions I'm selecting the existing solution we have two tables I'm just selecting the new table I'm creating the branch table plural name automatically displayed and this is a schema name if you want to edit the primary column we can edit it and here is the option like enable attachments if you want we can enable it and we have some more settings description description is like a tooltip if you want we can add some description like contains branches information and we have the table type a standard table by default it is a standard table if you want we can create the table as activity like email phone call fax we have right so I'm selecting the standard table for now and we have the ownership if you try to create the table by using the user or team ownership owner columns will be created like owner owning business unit owning team owning user and if we try to create the table as organization then no owner columns will be created apart from that all the columns will be created like created by created on modified by modified on status status reason and all okay so let's try to create the entity by using the organization in the next and we have the collaboration settings allow feedback enable for activities enable connections send email to table we have this plus symbol right at the end if you try to enable the option which consists this plus symbol you cannot disable it so make sure before creating it okay before enabling it and we have support mail merge enable sharepoint document management auto create access teams enable queues and we have the create update settings if you want we can enable the quick create duplicate detection is by default enabled enable change tracking and we have the offline settings if you want you can enable so let me create the table now the table has been created these are the columns created let's see the owner column has been created same way owning business unit owning team owning user status status reason modified by modified on created by created on when it comes to relationship these are all the lookup fields and we'll be having the relationship with this entity like created by modified on owning business unit owning team owning user comes to business rule no business rules created when it comes to views by default some views will be created whenever we create an entity like inactive active associated advanced find quick find lookup these are the views will be created so these are the views created when it comes to forms we have three forms by default created main card quick view form i'll talk about this later okay no keys when it comes to data whenever we create a record in customer engagement then the data will be applicable and visible over power apps here so this is a new feature and 
let me try to create the another table by using the organization ownership just creating the student table just editing the primary column student name if you want you can add the description students data just selecting the ownership as organization just creating the table these are the columns which will be created so here we have the organization id column created because we have created the table by using the organization ownership so no owner columns created okay so when it comes to forms three forms will be created so likewise views also will be created so let's see how to add this table to the customer engagement for that just we need to go to the sales hub or any customer service hub whatever you have accessed okay just let me try to click on this gear icon click on advanced settings just click on settings we have apps so if you want you can add on any app okay customer service hub app so for now i am just trying to add those tables in the sales hub app just trying to open the app designer here we have the sitemap right so you need to edit the sitemap and you have the group area and sub area okay so here i am trying to add sub area a new sub area has been added let me try to add the entity as branch and here if we want to add the title we can add I'm just adding the branches as title so the title has been modified here just I'm trying to save okay and i am adding the student entity as well i'm just selecting the entity type and just adding the student entity giving the title name students save and publish now let's go to the sales hub just i'll try to reload reload again so now our tables has been added over here one is branch one is student so likewise you can add your tables to the customer engagement model driven apps let me open the branches table if you want to create new click on new just enter the name as test branch click on save control s come back so this is the record which was created Similarly, we have the students. If you want to create a new student, you can just enter the student name. Any student name, like Ram. No owner field has been created, right? I mean, owner column has been created. Let us save this record. Come back. So, this is how you can create the records. Now, let's just try to check the data. Whether the data has been available in power app support so the data is coming over here let me try to go to the branches let's select the data so the data is available here also okay so this is how you can create the tables in dynamics 365 customer engagement power apps and you can add the tables to the customer engagement okay if you like this video then please like it and thank you for watching this video